Hello all. In this lecture, we will try to learn merging of two files. That is the content of one file uh, and the content of second file. Together, they'll be uh, merged and given into the third file. That is, you'll try to copy the content of first file plus second file into the third uh, file. Okay. So for that, as usual, when you're trying to open files, you read three file pointers. One for the first, second and the third one. Right. So as usual, you know, all F open, F, uh, it, if it is null, if any of the uh, file pointer, you will get null, then obviously you should tell it is an error. Right. So that is what we are trying to do here in the beginning. So first, <clears throat> uh, you are including your stdio.h and also your standard library files. Right. And then starting with your main first, I'm opening two files to be merged. So I, in the previous uh, lectures already, we had seen student.txt and target.txt, right? So the same files, I'll just merge into another new file that is file3.txt. So now student.txt, previously when we had seen, I think we had a hi, welcome to PPS lab session, something like that, right? And in target file, we had seen uppercase conversion. So those two files, we will, uh, we will merge into the third file. Okay, so yes, file, file pointer one is equals to f open student.txt in read mode and also I'm opening the target.txt in read mode. Next, what do we want? We, we should also open another new file, right? So in order to get uh, data from those two files, uh, that is student and target.txt. So for that, we require the third file. <clears throat> So this one in write mode because we were, we are trying to write the content into the file3.txt and also you are creating some extra variable C car of data type car. Next. So first we'll check whether all the file pointers had been created properly or not. If fp1 is equals to null or fp2 is equals to null or fp3 is equals to null, then you'll keep put test could not open files because there may be files may not be there or some extension mistakes are there or the naming mistakes are there then simply you are exiting from this if loop next next is copy content of first file to file 3 so one after the other we will, we will be copying right so while c is equals to f get c of fp1 so first file pointer is not equals to end of the file then f put c this character into file pointer 3 so what you are doing you are taking character of file from each character from the file pointer and you are giving to c and by using f put c function you are writing that characters into the file pointer 3 <clears throat> Right. So how many times should I do that one until and unless I'm not equals to uh, end of the file. I should read the characters from file pointer one and I should place that into the file pointer three. So that is for copying of first file. Next, copying the second file content. So same again. Just you need to change this file pointer. See here. For the first file pointer, that is for the first file, I'm creating FP1, right? So from FP1, you are taking the characters. Next, from the second file also, we wanted to read, no? So uh, C is equals to F get C, FP2, which is not equals to end of the file. Then you are trying to use the F put C method and that one you are writing it into the FP3, right? So F put C, C comma FP3. From file pointer to fp3, from file pointer to fp3. So the first uh, file content is being copied and also then the second file content is being copied. Next, printf. So simply what you are doing, printf. We merged student text and target.txt into file3.txt. <clears throat> Next, so after opening all the files, we also should close them. So three files we had open now. So F close FP1, F close F FP2, and F close FP3 and returning zero because we had written in main and then quitting from your main function, right? So this is what the code actually is. So very simple. Just if you'll remember this one, F get C of FP1, which is not equal to end of the file, then simply you are writing those characters into fp3 that is for first file and also you will connect the fp2 to fp3 so this is what we are doing when uh, you are trying to merge the content of one file to another file okay so let us compile this code so no errors are there and let us run the code we had got merged student.txt and target.txt into file 3 so we got the uh, proper message but we don't know whether really that f 
uh, file three is created and really copied it into uh, copied the content or merged it into the file three or not. So go back to your folder where you are storing all your uh, programs with your uh, <coughs> uh, what is that with your ID dev C++ right. So here first you'll open the student.txt right and then target.txt yes so just see in student.txt we had the lowercase of hi welcome to pps and um, and in your uh, target.txt we had hi welcome to pps session in the uppercase right so next what we want we these two were uh, written or merged into the file 3 so first check out where the file 3 here is my file 3 simply just double click on that and open it yes you can see here so what is happening hi welcome to pps lab session so this is our first file and the hi welcome to pps lab session this is our second file right so those two together are merged into the file 3 that is what we did in our program right so merging two files content into the third file uh, right so that's all for this lecture thank you all